I will be challenging Kirsten Cinema for the United States Senate, and I need all of your support. Ruben Gallego is a name you're going to be hearing a lot of as he has just officially announced with a campaign ad his run for Senate for the Democratic Party. Now, of course, this is in Arizona. Kirsten Cinema, former Democratic senator, now independent, is not going to be in this primary race, largely because of the data I'm going to show you in a minute here. But this gives you some, uh, especially if you're in Arizona, some potential hope here for an actual cinema replacement that cares at least a little more about people than Kirsten Cinema does. So before I even get to Gallego's new ad and his appearance on TV talking about cinema and some other data around this, I want to show you just this quick clip. It's seven seconds long. This is Cinema and Joe Manchin, surrounded by billionaire CEOs at Davos, share a high five after agreeing that they won't reform the Senate filibuster. So, of course, their position on this is what led to essentially nothing real getting passed for the first two years of Biden's term. And here they are, continuing their uh, uh, agreement on their position here at Davos with this amazing display. Difference for the American people in the last two years. We still don't agree on getting rid of the filibuster. That's correct. Right? Thank you. I, I was, I was uh... different. So, yeah, this is a meeting of a bunch of, you know, well-off, detached individuals, and of course, Cinema Mansion, they are front and center, agreeing with uh, billionaires in getting nothing done. Sticking with the status quo, because of course, it's benefiting the people they're sitting with. Now, let me get to Ruben Gallego. In contrast, very different kind of candidate. And you're going to see here from this ad that largely focuses on his upbringing, which I think is a good way to uh, start your race so people know where you're coming from. I'm going to play this out for you. It is fantastic. Check this out. Growing up poor, the only thing I really had was the American dream. An opportunity. It's the one thing that we give every American, no matter where they are born in life. It was actually something to believe in and to fight for. The odds that a single one immigrant mom with a Latino boy Statistically, I was never supposed to end up even in college. I slept on a floor in a couch in a roll-on mat. Hearing her cry like every night, being stressed out about how she was going to raise like four kids on a secretary's salary, you know, with an absent father. Fue una experiencia muy dura. Having to step up and be a father figure to my three sisters and skipping my teenage years influenced me a lot. When you're poor, you really need a belief and a hope in a better future. you want to make one? And what helps to do that is when you have other people believe with you. My family, who didn't laugh at me when I told them I'm going to Harvard, had teachers, did everything they could to make sure that it was possible. I had a government that believed in kids like me. I really did feel that I owed the country something, and we got sent to Iraq. Losing all my friends, consistently being shot at, and people are trying to blow you up all the time. You never really fully come back from a war. You're not the same person. Fighting through PTSD. There were some very low moments in my life but I still didn't give up hope and push forward. I found a new way to keep serving. Hey, hey, hey. You're the first group of people that are hearing this, besides my family. I will be challenging Kirsten Cinema for the United States Senate, and I need all of your support. <laughs> Most families feel that they are one or two paychecks away from going under. That is not the way that we should be living in this country. <laughs> the rich and the powerful, they don't need more advocates. It's the people that are still trying to decide between groceries and utilities that needs a fighter for them. There is no lobbyist for working families. We could argue different ways about how to do it, but at the core, if you're more likely to be meeting 
with the powerful than the powerless, you're doing this job incorrectly. I'm sorry that politicians have let you down, but I'm going to change that. I'm Ruben Gallego. I'm running to be the senator of Arizona. Because you deserve somebody fighting for you and fighting with you every day to make sure you have the same chance at Sueño Americano. All right, so a solid launch ad there showcasing what he's about, where he comes from, what motivates him. In a minute here, I'm going to get to a uh, clip from him on uh, Ruben Gallego on cable news discussing his interactions with Kirsten Cinema and how he feels about her now. And I'm also going to get to some more data later on showing what polling is saying in terms of where Cinema and Ruben Gallego sit in a three-way race or two-way race. So before I do that, how about the primary polling? All right, so this is from almost exactly a year ago from Data for Progress. This is when Cinema was still a Democrat. Cinema has a current ceiling of 17% against possible Democratic primary challengers. So the question was if the 2024 Democratic primary election for U.S. Senator from Arizona was tomorrow, and these were the candidates, who would you vote for? Ruben Gallego <laughs> in a primary against Cinema, 74% of the vote to Cinema at 16%. And the other candidate here, Regina Romero, 66% to Cinema at 17%. Yeah, this is why Cinema is now an independent. So, you know, I covered that when she made that announcement. She had this all this this whole video about how she's doing this for the the people of Arizona, how she really cares about families, and this is how they No. <laughs> it's because you didn't want to face a democratic challenge, because you would lose. So instead, she wants to split the vote. And I'll get to what that data shows uh, later on in this video. But first, here is uh, Gallego's appearance with uh, Chris Hayes on MSNBC, where he's discussing how he knows cinema, uh, or how well he knows cinema, and their uh, various interactions, and how he feels about her now. Were you surprised by cinema's announcement? Not really. I, I thought she was going to do this eventually. Look, she claims to be independent. That's not the case. The case is that she can't win a primary against me. Uh, and this is her only option. And more importantly, uh, you know, she really has just abandoned the, the values of Arizona. Uh, and her being independent has nothing to do with the values of Arizona. It just means that she has an easier time to run. And she could go and talk to her friends in Wall Street and, and the pharma companies. But at the end of the day, she long ago abandoned Arizona when it comes to representing their values. You, you've, did you serve with her in Congress, right? I mean, you were in the same delegation. I'm just curious what your relationship with her is like. Have you spoken about this at all? Well, I've known her since my mid-20s. We both worked on campaigns together. We were in the State House, State Senate together. We're in Congress together. I've supported her on every election. Uh, but she has really stopped talking to me and other Democrats, uh, elected officials, which is not a problem. The problem is that she hasn't talked to any Arizonans. Everyday Arizonans, she has avoided. She has not had one town hall in uh, three years. She's more likely to meet with lobbyists than she is with a constituent. Uh, and at the end of the day, again, she doesn't have to talk to me. I, I'm just an elected official. The fact is, she ignores Arizona. She ignores our values, what we stand for. Uh, and I think that's why she is in the predicament that she is right now, though she has to run because she can't win a primary. Which, as from the data I showed you earlier, is exactly right. And everything else that Gallego points out there uh, in that clip is what everyone else is saying as well. That cinema is not meeting at all with constituents, that she has cut off completely from the Democratic Party within Arizona, even well before she became independent. So at some point, she made a clear turn to just be completely about massive corporations and the wealthy and help Republicans and has just completely cut off from anything she pretended to support when she was running. When she first ran for Senate, she was talking about how she had, she was, there's ads, I, I've done videos on this, where she's talking about how they're going to, she wants to raise, or, or sorry, raise the minimum wage, but also lower prescription drug costs. She wants healthcare should be a right. All this, like, <laughs> you know, just completely faking it, pretending that she cared about these issues. And maybe at that point she did, but she was once a member of the Green Party and is now essentially a Republican. It is quite the turn that cinema has uh, made. Now, also on Gallego's website, he goes on to write this about cinema, saying cinema has betrayed Arizona families. Time and time again, cinema put her own interests ahead of getting things done for the people of Arizona. She had accepted huge campaign contributions from the wealthy and well-connected, 
and in turn blocked legislation to raise the minimum wage, lower the cost of prescription drugs, expand voting rights, and more. And also, of course, there's a gif of her doing the down vote in 2020 on the minimum wage raise. Now, also quickly here from uh, Axios before I get to the latest polling from Arizona. Gallagher has also been critical of the rest of the Democratic Party, which is good to hear, particularly for at times under investing in Latino voters and ceding some ground to the GOP with this core constituency. As chairman of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus campaign arm Bold Pack, Gallagher helped elect nine new Latino House Democrats in part by spending six million on supporting Latino incumbents and candidates. And it's not just that he helped elect these nine Latino candidates. It's that these are actually solid, solid candidates. We're talking about Maxwell Frost. I've done a couple of videos on him, a fantastic uh, member in uh, Florida. And you also have Greg Kazar in Texas. When he was member of the uh, Austin uh, City Council, he helped to double the minimum wage for city employees and contractors. He has a massive, long history of fighting for the working class. Fan Again, so it's it's important to point this out because it's it can be easy to be a cinema where you pretend to be for certain things and you get power and you're just completely different. But when you see the kind of oh, how Gallego is using his power and the money that he is raising to support other working class candidates and bring them into Congress, that shows you that he actually cares about these issues and he isn't just another uh, cinema. Now, this is the latest polling that I've seen on uh, numbers out of Arizona for a Senate race in 2024. This from public policy polling, just to get the date here. I believe this is from, yeah, late last year. So December 22nd, 2022. I covered this poll when it first came out. There may be more data at this point, but I, I don't think so. Again, we're talking about a race that is a couple years away. <laughs> so, or I guess maybe, you know, a year or so away. Uh, more like two years away. So <laughs> it's, it's, more data will come. But I think uh, this kind of gives you an idea of how cinema impacts this potential race. So you have here, if the candidates for U.S. Senate next time were Democrat, Gallego, uh, Gallego uh, Republican, Kerry Lake, and Cinema running as an independent, who would you vote for? Gallego at 40%, Kerry Lake at 41%. Kerry Lake, by the way, who's still trying to run for governor, <laughs> a race that she lost last year and claimed she didn't lose. So I'm sure she will run for Senate now, but I don't think she's officially announced that. And then Cinema at 13%. So Cinema, this next poll or this next result here shows you that she is helping to split the vote here and potentially put a Republican in the Senate because here, when it's just uh, Gallego and Lake, Gallego wins 48 to 47 percent. And then you go down even further, Kerry Lake and Cinema. Kerry Lake would defeat just Cinema, 42 to 39. So Cinema is the problem here. Now. I do think, now that this campaign has officially launched, Gallego is going to be, I'm sure he's hes already well-known in Arizona, but, you know, well-known if you're paying attention to politics. I think Gallego is going to get his name out in terms of maybe getting more uh, typical non-voters uh, to recognize who he is. Name recognition is really the biggest issue when it comes to a primary and eventually comes to, you know, any election. So for Gallego to start now and really get his name out there, really get this ball rolling on the campaign, I think it's going to help him considerably be able to raise some of these numbers. And even if, I mean, if Cinema will be in this race. So even with Cinema in the race, potentially hurting the Democratic vote, I still think uh, Gallego ha would have a, a good shot at pulling it out. Because, like, what is Cinema's constituency? <laughs> like, if not billionaires, you know, multi-hundred millionaires and... Uh, wealthy corporate executives. Like, if you know anything about cinema at all, you would not vote for her, regardless of what party you are are in, unless you are just incredibly greedy and wealthy. So I, I just have a hard time thinking that um, cinema is going to have too much of an impact once this race really gets going, because it's going to become clear where each of these candidates stand. But again, name recognition being a massive thing, that that alone is going to net her a few percentage points that could end up hurting Gallego. But we're going to have to keep an eye on this because it's still a couple years away. And it's a good start for uh, Gaigo here. I hope he continues differentiating himself in terms of what policies he supports, what he fights for, what's in his past, what his voting record is, and really make it clear to people in Arizona who he is.